what's up everybody it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365 thank you so much for tuning in I don't even want to turn the camera around because I'm so tired having a baby is exhausting but I haven't talked to you guys in a freaking what like two weeks maybe even longer how, how it might be three weeks I mean look what's going on in here this is what you call neglect okay well first of all uh, off the bat, the basil just wasn't doing super good. Um, definitely seems like uh, potentially a pH issue, but I'm going to get this stuff straightened out. I'm going to get some of these scragglers situated. I'm going to get this stuff straightened out. Um, this is this is a level of of lettuce. Wow, this is like some hard lettuce. This is interesting. I'm confused on why. It's kind of not the softest but these are kind of at least for now they feel a little hard but anyway today's uh december 7th i believe my name is michael i'm an indoor gardener primarily hydroponic here we have lettuce here we have beautiful basil here just don't look at that um this one's looking pretty good some of these just aren't doing well because and i could i already know why but check out the roof system we gotta get some more water in there i have yet in two weeks of this situation going on I have yet to add nutrients and that's a bad thing but I actually wanted to see how the plants thrive down here it was actually purposeful uh, I wanted to see in the condition that it's going on let me see here primarily it's been maintaining approximately a 74 to 75 with a 45 humidity level it means a 45 humidity level as well as the uh, the temperature in here sustains about 75 degrees under these lights I got both lights going on just so the tent stays warm uh, For for these plants here. All right, so let me just go over here. This is the nutrients that I use The kind okay the botanic care that we got the, the grow the base and this is what we're going to be putting in right now And I use this little thing to to uh, to put the nutrients into that when I add it to my reservoirs. Okay, and it's it's pretty simple. So why don't I go ahead and first, now that I realize that I definitely need some water, would you look at that root system? Woohoo! Crazy. Told you guys about that beautiful blondy whitey looking root system. Isn't it crazy? I love how they all just kinda like hold hands and sing kumbaya inside this little reservoir. Pretty cool, right? I love it. That looks like very healthy plants, let me tell you. When you come in here, same thing. They look pretty good, but uh, I guarantee you as soon as we drop some nutrients in here, I mean like three, four days, these things will flourish. They will go huge. So let me take a moment and I'm gonna drop some water in here and we're gonna get right into the nutrients. Let's do it. All right, now that I filled up the water, all right, I filled it up pretty well. The reason how I could tell that the water is in good shape is I lift one of the net cups up and I kind of look over here and I see where the level is on the water to the net cup and it's exactly right at the bottom of the net cup. It's exactly what I want. So we're gonna start with this here, the base, okay? Uh, from Botanicare Kind. Again, if you wanna grow like me, you want everything that I got, all the equipment, uh, you don't have to search around for it. Everything is listed down below, okay? Click on see more, you'll see uh, all the links that I have. <clears throat> Basically what I take is, I don't go crazy on this, okay? I go half and half. I like to give a little base and then I like to give a little grow. What you want to do is this. You never want to mix the two different ones too. You want to put some base in here and then I just kind of like let it swim around a little bit, okay? Let it kind of uh, float around and that's it. Then I put in my base again and I basically go half on here. This is 60 mil right here, so I do about 30 mil. Okay, and I'm going to put some in here and do the same type of uh, stroke right inside here. And done. So, I'm done with that one. Now, all I got to do now is the base is good. The base really starts things off right. I also go ahead and throw in some, uh, some of the grow for a little addition nutrient. It's gonna be unbelievable. I almost wanna, I almost wanna uh, see what they look like tomorrow. 
And again, never mix the two. Never, never mix the grow with the base. Always do one at a time. I mean, the plants are going to have a ball tonight. I hate neglecting these plants. I really do. But time to time, it's not easy. I mean, I give huge props to everybody out there that has a YouTube channel that actually does... I mean, I don't even know how people... Some people do da daily videos. I mean, those, those people that do daily videos, they're probably making hundreds of thousands of dollars from Google AdWords or something. So they take the time to do it. So I guess it makes sense for them to actually make the videos. Um, so it's hard for me to get down here and make these videos. But I do my best, guys. That's all I can do. But my best sometime isn't enough. So sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know if you saw me there. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a zoom in. I want to zoom in on, on, on this plant right here. Look how beautiful it is. A nice still shot. I know some of you guys complain. Hey, you're moving your camera around too much. I know, guys. I know. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not a professional cameraman, okay? I do what I can do to please the audience. Look at this thing. It's absolutely beautiful, actually. I mean, these are... It's interesting that the leaves... This is... I'm confused a little bit because this is a tower lettuce, which is basically a romaine. Okay? I, I really don't like this thing on here, on my little stands. So, let me zoom back out. And let me just put this thing in my hand and talk to you guys for a second. Uh, you know, I never, I never said Happy New Year or... Uh, you know, happy holidays to everybody out there that celebrates Christmas or Hanukkah and everybody who celebrated New Year's. I wish you all an amazing, healthy, wealthy, and prosperous New Year in 2020. Uh, this is going to be a phenomenal year. Make sure you guys are writing down your goals. You know, I know this channel is primarily focused on hydroponics and all like that, but, you know, we're all still a community. We're all still friends here. So I want to wish you all uh happy holidays happy new year and i want you guys to be reaching out for those goals everything that you want to succeed in in 2020 um i had a phenomenal uh 2019 i really crushed that year so i'm uh definitely moving strong into uh 2020 so very excited on what's to come just trimming some of these ugly little leaves that are kind of in a sense, they look almost like burnt from maybe acidity, I don't know, or a lack of nutrients, who knows. But anyway, that's for what was, and this is what's to come. So, uh, this is what I got going on here. The, the, the basil is looking good, and the lettuce is looking good. Make sure to comment down below, guys, and let me know what you're currently growing. What type of lettuce are you growing? Where, you know, where are you buying your lettuce? This is a beautiful head of lettuce right here. It's going to be beautiful, at least. I'm telling you, it's going to be insane what happens with adding some nutrients. Um, but it's interesting, too, because, you know, I always try to think, um, how, how can you make hydroponics sustainable? I mean, you really... The thing is, you can if you have great light. Though not having an aeration system, you could do aquaponics, which will allow you know the fish to basically um, kind of do do the oxygenation to the plants. I believe that's what it does. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I know that basically the the fish might poop or something in the uh, in the reservoir, and I think that that might be good as a nutrient wise. I'm really not sure. I'm not educated on aquaponics, but if you are. Leave me a few comments down below. Just picking off little, as you can see here, little, little, little plant, little things that I'm seeing that are just not necessary for the plant to even waste energy on to try to maintain the little leaves. This way, you can really focus on what's healthy, what's looking healthy, and what's doing well. But you got, you guys will see in the next couple of days. I'm gonna create another video, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, and it will show you guys. What the what the what the new status of these? You know, just take a look at the size. Let's take a close look at what these look like. And today is Tuesday the seventh, and we could take a look at them in a couple of days. 
and you're going to see a difference. Also, in the nearest video, I will be taking one of these um, basil plants, probably this one right here. That looks like the healthiest one, and this one's actually not doing too bad either. I will take this one and I will show you guys how I create more basil, basically uh, doing a transplant. It's actually not a transplant, it's a clone. I will clone the basil. Once these get to a certain degree, I will show you guys how I take one plant and I could take one stem from this already existing plant, not have to reseed anything, but I take that plant and basically uh, create an additional plant from it. It's pretty neat. I remember the first time I did it, it was really interesting. I couldn't believe it actually works. It's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, listen. I want to wish you all a happy week. Today's Tuesday. I know I should have uh, made this video a couple of days ago, at least on Monday. And wished you guys a happy week. I hope you're all doing excellent. I hope uh, you guys are growing for this new year. Also, uh, you know, indoors. So make sure to give me the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and make sure to hit the links down below. This is Mike with Grow Indoors 365. Also, make sure to hit the Facebook link and like our Facebook page. There's some additional uh, uh, additional uh, images that I post on there that you guys don't get to see here. And that's it. Make sure to also visit Grow Indoors 365 for the list of everything that I have, the wish list of things to grow like me hydroponically. Thanks again, guys. Have a fantastic week, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.